Hey, Nicolette here. I'm a Google Workspace specialist focused on public sector. And today we will be discussing client-side encryption with a special guest, Gilnoji, Google's product manager for client-side encryption. Hey, Gilnoji, thanks for joining. Hey, Nicolette. Thanks for having me. Well, before we jump in, I want to talk to you a little bit about security. As hybrid work becomes the norm for a lot of employees, security, data privacy, and trust continue to be the foundation for collaboration from wherever you are. Google's been focused on these key areas since the beginning. We've long been advocates for making the web a more trusted place for everyone. In 2004, we launched Gmail with a mission to defeat spam. A few years later, we created Safe Browsing, which now helps protect users on more than 4 billion devices every day. Last year, as the world of work continued to evolve, we launched Beyond Corp Enterprise, a zero trust solution that enables secure access to apps and services for all kinds of workers from anywhere. And we've also continued to find new ways to strengthen encryption to keep our customers and users safe while protecting their data, whether it's by pioneering encryption in transit for email and browsing, turning HTTPS on by default in Chrome, or flagging sites that lack encryption. Our new security and privacy innovations help Google Workspace customers realize the full power of trusted cloud native collaboration. Genoji, can you tell us what client site encryption is? Well, with Google Workspace client-side encryption, we are helping our customers strengthen the confidentiality of their data while addressing a broad range of data sovereignty and compliance requirements. Google Workspace already uses the latest cryptographic standards to encrypt all data at rest and in transit between our facilities. We are taking this a step further by giving customers direct control of encryption keys and the identity service they choose to access those keys. With client-side encryption, customer data is not accessible to Google, while users can continue to take advantage of Google Workspace native experience on web and mobile. This is great to know. So client-side encryption is especially beneficial for government as users are handling sensitive and regulated data, like intellectual property, healthcare records, or financial data. Client-side encryption can help meet data sovereignty requirements and compliance requirements like ITAR, CGIS, IRS 1075. And here at Google, we're putting everything we have into providing you the features to secure your data and meet data sovereignty and compliance requirements. Gilnoji, can you tell us about when customers would use client-side encryption? Um, typically, we recommend customers to turn on client-side encryption for all users that need to create or upload encrypted files to Google Drive or those that need to host encrypted meetings. Now, note that you don't need to turn on client-side encryption for users that will just view or edit those encrypted files or those that will attend those encrypted meetings. Wow. So using client-side encryption as an additional layer of security definitely has its benefits. Can you walk us through how to set up client-side encryption and what that might look like for an end user in Google Drive? Sure. Let me show you a quick demo of what client-side encryption is. The journey usually starts in the admin console where customers have to connect Google Workspace to their key servers. This is what you can see on the top section of this page. When that connection is done, admin can enable client-side encryption either for the entire organization or a subset of the users. When the setup is complete, users are in Google Drive. And we made sure that the user experience for client-side encryption feels as familiar as possible. So users will be able to come in Google Drive and encrypt or load file or create encrypted documents. Let me show you how it looks. When you create an encrypted file, you land in the similar canvas that you use every single day. Mm -hmm. We let you know that you are working on an encrypted document. 
Earlier, I created an encrypted file and you can see that you will find the traditional user experience that you know. Earlier, I created a file and you can see the same now. Earlier, I created a file. You can see here that you can edit this document the same way you do every single day. With client side encryption, we let you also use other Google works with great features like drive labels to classify your data. You can create, you can edit, but you can also share this encrypted content. And so you will use the same sharing experience that you use every day. We let you define whether your colleagues will be able to view or edit this content. But with client-side encryption, we're adding an extra layer. We let customer add additional access policies at their key access layer. Now, back in Google Drive, after a few weeks or few months of usage of client-side encryption, we know that user would want to find their encrypted content. So there are two things to call out with our search experience. One, we made sure that you were able to search for only your encrypted content. And when you do that, you are presented with search results. And of course, you can add additional search chips that exist today. The second thing that I wanted to cut out is that even if search results are provided, we made sure that we preserve confidentiality. So because Google does not have access to the content, search results with client-side encryption are only perform against document attribute like title, owner, or last modified date. So that's a really quick demo of what client-side encryption is. Of course, there is more. Last year, we announced client-side encryption support for other workspace applications. And even within Google Drive and editors, we, the team is working on exciting improvement innovations that will be released in the future. So stay tuned. So that was a quick overview of what client-side encryption is. And back to you, Nicolette. Awesome. Thanks, Galoji. That demo was awesome. I really see why clients are loving client-side encryption. In our next video, learn more about how you can differentiate access levels based on a user's identity and the context of the request. And stop a device that is trying to access your data from another location with context or access. And be sure to check out the description below for helpful links and subscribe to the Google Workspace YouTube channel for more updates. Thanks for joining us.